can't trust him in your posse I go hard, not a hobby Got a stallion in my bed, she got body, yaddy, yaddy It's only fast food if the bitch is acting snobby Then fly hoes to Abu Dhabi, I feel like the Prince of Saudi Now watch your bay dance, head like she break dance Call me your folk Diddy, how I make bands I ain't wanna make friends, way before Corona, I ain't shake hands Knows what you trying to find out three two one bruno no starts now welcome welcome back to another episode of brew knows if you guys haven't subscribed please subscribe if you haven't followed the boy on the gram follow the boy on the gram bro brvno i'm super pumped today we have one of denver's finest rappers yes, uh this man was on Rhythm and Flow. You guys have probably seen him on Netflix. Uh, he came with the bars, so we might as well just start with some bars. Man, I got Jacob it. Campbell here. Thanks for coming, bro. If you bro. don't know me, you gonna know now. You, uh, you ready, bro? Yeah, let's let's just kick it let's off. This is out, man. Bet, bet. This is out. There we go. Turn a little bit more. Ooh. Yep. I'm gonna just do the Alice. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. Go crazy. <laughs> hey. I just tore down an arena in my hometown I went on tour and every show I did was sold out I hate this city cause they still be trying to hold out How stupid they gon' feel they never let the gold out Was such a quiet kid I'm hurt around the globe now Cause opportunity knocked and I kicked the dough down I get the whip and I put pedals to the flow now I get the drop and it's gon' bring all of these hoes out Yeah, hold yeah up. Hey. Bro. We pop millies, then pop willies, we so silly The flow silly, they don't feel me, they don't get me We play with drums like, whoa, Kenny, this smoke Kenny By any means, I promise I'll make it happen right I turn that bucket to a ghost like it's the afterlife <laughs> The cheese skim the top like Dana White I used to hoop, I dropped the ball cause I can handle life Man, yeah, <laughs> cause I can handle bars. life I keep right. going, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Keep going. Most griller the soul filler, the hope killer. My bitches ball like Cheryl Miller, you don't fill her. Seen Coke dealers and cold winners with dope dealers. He got that rot like he no jigger. I'm in the jungle wearing bait with the snakes and the gorillas. Now I'm wildin' doing donuts on a four wheeler. He got that gun on his hip, he is no killer. He gang banging dip sets like he no killer. <laughs> they never could understand me If you in my city, I had your hoe in my Camry I ain't have a room still, these bitches is getting nasty You gon' hear more fucks in the kitchen than Gordon Ramsay oh, bro. <laughs> That's bars. You gon' hear more fucks in the kitchen than Gordon Ramsay Man, man bro, yeah, that's man. bars you didn't, <laughs> you didn't have to turn it up like that, damn, bro man, I thought we were going so light We going light, that's life Bro, <laughs> that was fire, dog Appreciate That was fire, the Camry bar had me just wilding right Right there. Facts. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Facts. Bro, how you been? Blessed, man. Blessed. Can't complain at all, bro. Yeah, we've been chatting a little bit. It sounds like uh, you know, you're you're really putting the pressure on 23, right? Man, this year gonna be big time, man. I yeah. feel it. I feel it. I feel good about it. Um been working hard, grinding, got a lot, a lot, a lot of music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's that uh you know, just the creation process? I mean, how long does it typically take you? To bust out one song. And how many songs are you busting out like a week? Man, bro? I'm really like a workhorse for real. So, yeah. like, I'm doing about, like, five to seven songs a week. Really? Just grinding. Yeah. I mean, one song, it depends, honestly, yeah. what type of song. If it's just some rap shit, it's 30 minutes quick, you know, yeah. to an hour. But, you know, I've been working on different genres and stuff like that. And those tend to take a little bit longer. But Yeah. yeah. What kind of genres? Man, I've been in my pop bag, really? my, rock, my rock bag, man. I get in any bag, man. Dude, they call me Jake it. Timberlake, man. You feel me? Jake Timberlake, singer, bro. Man, they know that's I got them vocals, man. For real, bro. <laughs> Have you ever dropped something that's a little bit different than rap? Or I've, is that I've what dropped, we're going to see this year? Um, definitely a lot of more of that this year. Okay. And still some rap, of course. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've dropped, I dropped a little EP last year called Tears, and yeah. that had... It's kind of like my introduction to some singing, yeah. but um, they're not ready for what I got, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah so bro. I'm really getting in that kind of bag. Yeah, bro, you might have to leak it to me, you know. I like, will leak to you to records. Style, like, back in the day, bro. The back He's gonna of gonna be day. like, this is him. <laughs> yeah, that's sick, bro. And uh, when you do those different genres, are you like collabing usually, or? Is it more of, like, you just playing around with it on your own? Uh, I mean, it started off with me just playing around with it, um, yeah. seeing what, you know, when you're in the studio so much, it's like you just experiment, you know, yeah. and tend to 
try new things. And that's yeah. all I've been doing. Some yeah. work, some don't. I ain't going to say I hit every time, you feel me? But, yeah. you know, about 90%. Time, you know? yeah. I'm 90% ain't bad, bro. I'm shooting good from the field. Hey, bro. You, you'd be out here in the league just like Steph Curry. You, you feel know me? So, um, yeah. But I, I got some a lot of collabs with artists more down that lane. Um, I like to because, you know, I feel like me just going from – some super rap shit. Yeah, to you that. can't just flip it's, the yeah, script. Yeah, you yeah. gotta. So it's, a, it's a small introduction. Little breadcrumbs, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Bro, that's cool. So, um, you know, obviously, we've probably had mutual friends for a while. I think mm -hmm. we've known of each other, but uh, you know, with, with rhythm and flow, obviously, that was kind of like, yeah, you know, a big moment for you, right? Kind of getting your name out there, at least in the rap game. I'm sure people in Denver had heard of you, but now. It's more of like a global. Yeah, no, it was huge for sure. Yeah. Um, when was that? When when did you actually like record all that stuff? Because obviously it takes time for yeah, production yeah. and all that. So we recorded it like, um, it was like January like 2018. It was a long time yeah, ago. Bro, yeah, that's and crazy. It came out like beginning of like 2020 ish. So really, it was yeah, it was like a year of like post stuff. Um, but yeah, we and the recording process was like two months. So I was out in yeah. LA for like two months. That's cool, bro. Well, what's crazy about that is I actually had never seen Rhythm and Flow until last year. Yeah. So this is all new to me. I'm like, oh shit, See, this man sucks. And, and yeah. bro, I like, I knew that you were on a show, but mm -hmm. I didn't know it was Rhythm and Flow. It was just like me and the wife are just watching Rhythm and Flow. Yeah. Like, hey, I know that guy kind of, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, like <laughs> he's from Denver. Yeah. She's like, no, you don't. I'm like. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's from Denver. He hit me yeah. on it. <laughs> I said, he, like, he knows bro. me. He knows me. He's not lying. Yeah. No, yeah. And that's, I think that's the dope thing about it being on yeah. Netflix, though, instead of, like, if it was on live TV. Yeah. Nobody would hear about it now. Yeah. I still get like messages. Like, if you missed it, you missed if it. If you missed it, you missed it. Yeah. I still get messages to this yeah. day. People like, oh, new fan. Like, I just watched you yeah. yesterday. And it's yeah. that was, like, two years ago, you know? Yeah. I, even the people that were watching the show, I think... Uh, there was a lot of people being like, yo, Jacob should have gone further. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had a, you got a huge fan base, bro. Like, because yeah. everybody was kind of saying the same thing, right? And you really stuck out even in, even in the episodes, right? You could kind of see, like, your episode was just, like, the best episode yeah. out of all of them. I, yeah, I, I feel the same way. Um, I think... I think it, uh, you know, is a thing to cause controversy. So, you know, because it was a pretty big uproar when they, like... Yeah, uh, chose the other guy instead yeah. of me. So, you know, it's TV at the end of the day, and that's what I had to learn. At first, yeah. I was pissed off, but I'm like, you know, they got an agenda. Yeah, how was that process? Do. So, was it really? Because on the show, they make it seem like we're just hosting auditions. Anybody come through? Was it really like that? Nah. Um, well, at least with mine, I know some yeah. people's was like um, they like sent stuff in. I don't know if they picked like through that but yeah. mine i had a went and did a show in atlanta a concert yeah. um and this guy he's like Ludacris's manager yeah. and he had was at the show and he loved me and he knew the creator of the show he just called him and was like i got somebody for you know the show Damn. at this time i didn't even know what the title of the show was or yeah. anything like that so like that. i was like man he texts me he texts me like two days after i left atlanta like you want to be on tv Say hell yeah, <laughs> and he's like, I already be in Chicago tomorrow, and I just had to go rap. But that wasn't my audition in front of like Chance and them. That was just yeah. like for the casting directors and stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. damn, bro. And at the time, like, where was, where were you at in your music career? Like, were you already like pot committed? I'm doing music, yeah. or was it still like, oh, like this is something I do on the side? I was full in at that yeah. point. Um, I had took like uh, 2017 off. Uh, when I first met my manager, and I I didn't drop anything. I deleted yeah. all my old music, yeah. and it was kind of like a rebrand for me. Yeah. Um, and just just to perfect my craft, you know, because right. I wasn't nearly as good as I am now. So yeah. I, and a lot of people wouldn't do that, but it was a sacrifice for me. At the time, you know, I didn't understand it, but now I, I'm appreciative for that time of a whole year. I, I thought I was losing time, but I actually got so much better yeah. just grinding in that time. And who then, were who were your fans at the time? Was it just like local people, just like your homies? Yeah, I mean, pretty what, much. What did life I look mean, like there? I mean, um, before the show, I had some fans, but it, it was a lot of local stuff. But yeah, I mean, I was doing some numbers. I had yeah. streaming 
I had one song, Knock It Off, that was doing good before yeah. the show. That kind of, like, helped. That was at, like, 60,000, but now it's at, like, 300K, so. That's sick, bro. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? As, like, as you just keep climbing, it's, you know, certain things that were, like, big steps are yeah. now, like, now every song you drop is doing the 60K. See, yeah. and that's the that's the wild thing, you know. It's it's a blessing, though, but I, I tend to not be as appreciative as I should yeah. sometimes because, I you know, I know – where I want to go yeah. and I'm not nearly where I'm at yeah. but like a million views to me was back when I was a kid that yeah. doesn't sound possible yeah. you feel me and I've reached that now but now I get mad when songs don't do that yeah, and I'm like, like damn <laughs> I'm like I gotta go I gotta do yeah. better than that I'm trying to top the last one so yeah. that's have been a hard part of me trying to learn to appreciate the little things I achieve but yeah. dude it's sick I feel like um you know especially Cause it really is a form of like entrepreneurship, you know what I'm For saying? Sure. And so you got to be competitive with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Cause it's like, there's no sense, especially when it's art, right? There's no sense in like comparing like uh, yeah. rapper to rapper or, I mean, you know, people got their like top five, whatever, yeah. but you really can't like compare the music. Yeah, it's subjective, you know? man. Yeah. Art is a subjective thing. Um, and that's one thing I had to learn being an artist was like to not compare myself. Yeah. And that's when I started growing the most. Cause coming up, I'm like, I'm better than this guy. I'm better than that guy. Why? Yeah. Why don't I have what he got? Like, nah. What, yeah. What's for me is for me, and what's yeah. not is not. You know. So I can't, like you said, it's subjective. I can't be mad at someone else's success. That's weird. Yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> that is weird. Bro. <laughs> that is weird. That's a good way to put it. When did you start rapping? Uh, I've been rapping since like I was like nine, ten years old. Right. Like I used to just freestyle in the crib. I started recording when I was like thirteen, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I ain't taking like. Like super serious to uh, like a senior in high school because yeah. I used to hoop. I wanted to be a basketball player and yeah. shit. But yeah, well, where were you recording at the time? Just like just in the crib, yeah, yeah. just at the house. Mm -hmm. You got the like, you know, the most basic setup just on the computer. Or what? Yeah, dead ass. I was in my friend's house in a closet. I think I still <laughs> got a picture of it. Like, <laughs> real talk. I was really in a closet. Yeah. You might be rapping about being in a closet. I was really in there. <laughs> I got it the hard way, no cap. <laughs> Damn, bro, where uh, where'd you grow up? I grew up in Denver, just like um, I mean, we moved around a lot, um, yeah. but I really just Denver, like sometime in Inglewood, some in Aurora, and then yeah. mostly just in Denver, though. Where'd you go to high school? I went to South Denver South, South High okay, School. Okay, bro. Yeah. Oh, When'd you no, graduate? Twenty sixteen. Oh damn, bro, I'm a little older than you. What year you graduate? Yeah, Thirteen. Oh, okay, yeah, you uh, so probably a little older. You like. Close to my brother's age. Yeah? Yeah, my big brother. Damn, yeah. bro. And and was he ever into music, too? Um, well, he played the drums. Like, yeah. But that's... That's, oh, that's why did. you're on your rock star shit, bro. You yeah, and the brother yeah. collabing? Or and what? the funny thing is, so, like, um, my dad... Uh, I mean, I knew my dad till I was, like, seven. Then he left yeah. us. But... Uh, before that, he was uh, actually in like a heavy metal band, which is crazy. Nobody yeah, really know bro. that. So, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I guess you had it in the blood at some point. You know? me? Yeah, a little bit of music in there. Yeah, bro, bro. When I was watching the show, you know, something that was really cool, I think, was just, um, you know, the relationship like you have with your mom, right? And yeah, um, you know, your story is like pretty powerful. Um, how has that kind of like translated into just the grind that you have or the music that you that you make? You know, and that's 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 really why I got into it. You know, um, I was dealing with a lot, a lot when I was younger. So, yeah. and I just started putting all my feelings into music, into yeah. song. Like, if you heard like some of my older music, I'm like really angry. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like really angry in them yeah. songs, but. Um, I mean, music, music is emotion, you know, it's all, whether it's happy, sad, you know, whatever, you know, but, so that's really, and then as far as the grind, like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do it for her. I seen yeah. my mom go through so much where it's like, she deserves it. Yeah. You know? It's not even for me. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care about it. I could go yeah. live the same regular life, but it's really for her. I'm trying to change it for her. Dude, that's awesome. I was, uh. You know, the, the boy was doing some of uh, the, the Instagram stalking that people usually do. Obviously, I was about to have you on the show. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, damn, bro, they're lit. Because, you, you know, it's like you and your mom and you're doing like the photo shoots. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like man, yeah. I got to set up a photo shoot for my mom, <laughs> bro. Got, she would <laughs> love that shit, though. Yeah, I remember because it was like, you know, I, I got this deal with Puma. Shout out, my guys. Yeah. And then um, uh, 
they were like, you know, send me some gear to like do a photo shoot, whatever. And I was like, I'm about to put my mom in this shit. And then yeah. I told him like, just send some clothes for her. And she had the fucking best time. You would think she was a superstar. She was loud, energetic. I'm like, dog, chill. She was just, you know, she got yeah. a lot of, of uh, personality for sure. Absolutely, yeah. bro. And I think, um, you know, I, I, at least in the society we live in, I think sometimes it's tough. Uh, you know, when a kid is like, hey, I want to do something yeah, for sure. out of the box, right? Because, I mean, like making music is kind of like, it's kind of out of the box to be like, I'm going to make a career out of this. Yeah. I'm going to be. So how, how would your mom take, when did you know you were going to do that? And when did you get the approval from like mom? <laughs> so I would say like, I knew I was going to do it like around 16, 17. Yeah. I'm like, this is what I want to do. It's what I'm yeah. going to chase after. You know, I, I wasn't going to go to college. I am was like, I'm all in. I had a yeah. chance to go to college and I denied it. I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. And so... <laughs> um, I went all in on my dreams. My mom definitely wasn't happy at that point. I yeah. mean, no mom's going to be happy. Like, you got a chance to go to school, and you said no. Yeah. You feel me? So, But it wasn't like she was like, you better not. She was just, I could see a little disappointment. Like, yeah. damn, you're really doing that. And at that point, you know, my mom never really heard me rap, though, because, like, yeah. I was cussing a lot. So I was, like, yeah. scared to show her, yeah. you know, in high school. So yeah. I was like, yeah, shit. So... She probably looked at me and wasn't like, is he even good? Like, yeah, I don't even like, know. You're like, like, yeah, <laughs> like, you? Like, I don't know. So, you feel me? But um, when I met my manager, um, it got a little more serious. And I started doing a little shows, like I said, out of town and some shows here. And maybe it got a little more serious to her, but I don't think she's seen it being what it turned into, though. Yeah. And then... Once I got the TV show, yeah, yeah it's she probably was a trip, in. bro, to see, you know, yourself on TV or even her see you on TV, right? Yeah, you know, like you know, watching the show, like putting her on TV was huge to me. Yeah. Like I was like, I was, that's the dopest shit I've ever did. Yeah, like, yeah, bro, I heard it in one of your bars. I don't know if it was like yeah. a reel or a song I was listening to. I put my and, mom on the TV. Yeah. You can't tell me shit. Yeah, man. bro. I was like, that's so gangster, <laughs> bro. It's like not only was I on TV, but I brought mom in. Exactly. Know? So uh, that was so dope to me, you know. Um, so I think that's when it really became super real. And she's like, oh, he got to he, he, he's going to do it, you know. Yeah. So she's, she's like my number one fan now, for yeah. sure. And have you had the same manager this whole time, like, since you got him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How mm -hmm. did you guys get connected? Man, crazy thing is uh, a kid I was going to high school with, um, we were friends. Uh, he just texted me randomly one day, and he was like, hey, send me your three best songs. I was like, okay. Yeah. Sent it to him, and then he sent it to uh, his pops. And his yeah. his, his pops uh, and – his friend are both my managers. You oh, know? really? So, yeah, and they uh, they just was all in. I met with them. I went to a wing stop, and we was just chopping it up. Yeah. I started playing the music, and he just kept going, this is you? This is you? I'm like, yeah, he could not believe it. I'm like, yeah, we on that. Yeah. Was he already, like, managing other? Uh, he had previously, which is crazy. He's managed a few people. Um in his past times and then he had stopped for about like five years and then yeah. he met me he swore he was never gonna do it again and yeah. then he met me and he was like all right let's yeah. go we gotta get after it yeah dude that's awesome and uh how did you know that friend it was just like a high school friend were y'all yeah. even close or was uh, it like, we went to school we was yeah. we was cool and yeah. we went like best friends but yeah, yeah we was cool bro so, that's crazy it's crazy how everything yeah. worked man everything yeah, happened for funny, a reason huh? for yeah, sure bro. i think a lot of people you know they always get in a rush to like you know, make something happen. I'm the same way, like the way you were describing, you know, your success. It's mm -hmm. like you've climbed this mountain, but you still feel like you're at the bottom of the mountain. You're like, Literally. but I want to be up there. You know what I'm saying? And so it's definitely hard to be like present. And, and even my podcast here, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I had like Derek Wolf. Yeah, on the pod. I've seen that. And I was like sitting here, bro. And I was like, I used to just fucking think this guy was the man. I promise. I was, you. I was That's like, crazy. what the fuck? Literally. And I had to like, but me and him are homies and stuff now. But it's like, I had to like really sit down and I was like, let me like just take this in, bro, because this man's right here. And I like my little brother, bro, had all like Broncos posters and shit, right? Yeah. Um. So sometimes it's hard to like just kind of stop and be like, wow, look at everything that we've accomplished, or look at where we're at. It's so hard and. 
it's it's needed though. Yeah. And that's the thing I had to realize. Like it's yeah. definitely needed. Um, how can you appreciate anything if you don't ever take the time? Like, and it, even little things, man. Like just little things, man. And yeah. it's like even with my deal with Puma or stuff like that, bro. I never thought stuff like that was yeah. attainable, bro. Like yeah. I come from nothing, bro. Yeah. And I wouldn't even think like stop to think like oh this is crazy yeah sometimes people have to check me like bro you're really doing it i'm like yeah. man but i'm trying to really do it like, <laughs> yeah. but like presence the the best word you could yeah. use for real yeah. is it's hard yeah. to be present though when you're chasing something yeah I, and i think you know it's hard to be present when you're like again comparing yourself right mm -hmm. which has just been almost impossible to not do with social media and exactly. you're seeing everybody else climb and all this other stuff and you're just like why am i here you know that's the hardest thing especially yeah. with social media and then the yeah. biggest thing people don't realize is like on social media man humans are humans everybody yeah. go through bad things yeah. but social media you just post your wins yeah. you know what i mean nobody yeah. posts their losses yeah so it look like everybody around you is just living it up yeah you're just like man this guy is killing it and really it's just and the it's, best version of it exactly right? you don't know what that person going through at all yeah you know, it could be the worst time of his life and it looked like he's doing great you yeah. feel me but when you're in when you're feeling some type of way yeah that shit could get to you for so yeah and it's a double-edged sword i mean especially in your world right where yeah hey it's like don't be on social media but at the same time like Man, you needed you. to push have your to. other shit, right? In this climate, you have to be on social media. It's yeah. a, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I probably wouldn't be on social yeah. media if I didn't, if I wasn't an artist. Like, yeah. it's just draining sometimes, but. Well, dude, remember, I mean, the days before social media, right? It was just like, everything was so simple, it was so yeah. fun. Maybe it's because we were kids, right? But everything was just like. That's how I feel, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. there was like, you know, you, I feel like people enjoyed their time together a little bit more, oh right? Because it's like. You're just with the people that you're around and not present, checking man. your phone. That's the word, present, presence, man. Bro. Yeah. Don't yeah. be present no more, man. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, it's like social media like the best thing that ever happened and the worst thing. Yeah. Like, you know, like you said, double edged sword because, I mean, the t it's a tool at the end of the day that could yeah. really change your life, too. Yeah. So. Yeah, bro. And, uh, you, you know, you see the rise of, like, some people very fast. Quick. Um, like, I don't know if you've heard of, uh, like, Connor Price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, this dude has been blowing up. Blowing and up. And I, I, you know, earlier on, like, before, not before he blew up because he had a little bit of, like, cloud already. Yeah. But I was like, bro, these videos are so fire. Like, the music is great, but, like, the, the concept yeah, behind yeah. the videos, and this dude's just, like, climbing, bro, climbing, climbing. And I'm just like, that's the power of it, right? You can mm -hmm. really, with a good idea and, like, good visuals or – you know, a good hook, like yeah. really hack this. You can change like your matrix, life. You can bro. change your life, literally. Yeah. You can change your life at your house. That's what people don't understand. That's crazy. And that's what I'm trying to understand. You know, <laughs> yeah. like I'm trying to get better at the social media stuff too. Yeah. But yeah, you can really change your life on your couch. Yeah, bro. It's wild. Um, w what has that process been? You know, I think everybody, you know, they might think like, hey, I want to be an artist, right? But there are these other aspects to it, right? Yeah. Like, um, even getting paid on like Spotify streams, yeah. yada, yada. Um, how was that process for you? Do you feel like you fully mastered like how distribution works, I guess, or are you learning it or you just like let your manager do all of it? Is uh, it I think it's always a, a learning, learning process for sure. Yeah. Um, things change so much, but, um, I'm definitely getting the hang of stuff like, but I would tell people like, it's definitely not as easy as it looks. I think a lot yeah. of people look at rapping and they're like, Oh, I could do that, yeah. like, oh, it's an easy way out. This shit is hard, yeah. like, because it's a business. Like you said, it's a yeah. form of entrepreneurship where it's yeah. a, you have to look at yourself like a business. I'm a brand, and the hardest part is marketing. That's it. any brand, you feel me? If you yeah. start a water bottle company tomorrow, yeah. you got to market it. How do you get it out to people? Same yeah. with music. It's the same thing. It's hard. It's tough. Yeah. So, Especially, it, you know, it's a, it's a – it's a talent like driven industry with like yeah. a lot of people trying to capture like the same market. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, it's not like you're, you know, most people aren't making music. That's going to introduce people to rap. Yeah. There's like a certain number of people that listen to rap and they're listening to these many people and you got to get your name in there. Somehow. Exactly. And that's yeah. the hard part. I mean, there's, there's so many rappers. bro. Yeah. And the crazy thing, I try to tell people this all the time. 
the most talented one is not the one that blows. It's yeah. sad, but that's yeah. the, that's the reality of the situation. Yeah, yeah. It's the hardest working one, the most creative, things like yeah. that. It's not always comes down to who's the best rapper. Right. Like, right. There's a ton of rappers who are amazing. They can't make a great song. Yeah. They're not gonna blow up. Yeah, absolutely, bro. And what what is that like process for you when when it does come to like writing, right? Are you in the yeah. studio, you write it and then rap it, or are you freestyle? Then you just write down what you like. Like, what do you go through? I've heard of people like, I go on a walk and I just like rap to myself and record it. I'm like, okay, was, like, what do you do? I'm, everybody has their own like little rituals. Everybody's you know? process is definitely different. Yeah. Um, mine's kind of a mix. Um, I could, I've definitely freestyled a lot of songs um, yeah. just in the studio, just kind of punching line by line. Yeah. Or um, I write too. I could write like crazy. So yeah. um, it's really a mix. Like when it comes to writing, I definitely uh, just turn on a beat and I do walk. I ain't gonna lie. I'll yeah. walk or I'll just be in the crib and just just pacing, just yeah. around like I in the kitchen. You, I'll be in the house. Turn like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's, like, yeah. like that's fucking hard. Yeah, yeah, just pick up here at bars and there and then yeah. just write it through that. Um, yeah. You do it in a journal or like your phone or uh so I, I'm I'm in a notebook with it. I yeah. used to be in the phone uh like throughout high school and a little after. And then I switched to the switched to actual writing. What made you switch? Man, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Um my manager just gave it to me. He's like, just try it out. And I fell in love with it. I yeah. feel like just the actual action of putting pen to paper yeah. is uh, I think it's like super powerful, bro. I think super. it's uh, uh you know, everybody's like switched to like you know, I can't even tell you the last time I wrote something down. Yeah, um, and that's the thing. Yeah. I had to, and that's what I, I like about it, too, is because, like, I don't ever do that. Yeah. You know, I never put pen to paper anymore. So yeah. when I get in that setting and I'm ready to write music, yeah. I really enjoy it. It feels like uh, kind of almost like a holy moment. Like, this is what I do for this. You I'm know? telling you, it's, 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 a, it's way more intimate to me. Yeah. Um, and that's where some of my deeper songs will come where, I could really talk, and that's when I'm writing, you know. Yeah. I got, like, 10 notebooks filled, yeah. you know. I'd just be writing. Do you ever, uh, like, piece stuff together? Ah, uh, yeah, I do yeah. sometimes. So do you yeah. go, like, if you are writing, are you ever going, like, bar for bar, and then you just, like, three days later, you're like, oh, that was fire, but the rest of it wasn't. So I'll Let just me put that there, yeah. yeah. I do that all the time, yeah. It's just... It's weird how things work, yeah. Or I'll be in the studio, I'll be to remember something that I yeah. said a while ago, like, nah, this will work here. Yeah. And just uh, figuring stuff out. That's all songs is, putting, yeah, putting pieces together in a, in a musical form, See man. See if it hits, you know? Exactly. Do you, do you have any other, um, like, musical talents? Like, can you play instruments or... Nah, I can't. I'm uh, trying to learn. Though. I'm trying to learn the keyboard. Uh, I was trying to learn guitar, bro, for, like, three months. I probably yeah. didn't play enough, you know? You stopped? Uh, yeah. Well, here's the thing, bro. I love music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it was my birthday last year. And uh, two years. Bro, it's been a year. Or, no, it was last year. And uh, I was like, man, like, I love music. Never made music. Yeah. Like, but I'd love, like, Russ, for example. He, like, controls the whole process. Everything. And yeah. I'm like, if I'm ever going to make music, I have to control it all. Because then I could just put out as much as I would ever want, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I got, like... Uh, Charlie Pluth, like I signed up for like this thing where he like taught a couple of people how to fucking do it. Yeah, I bought like the fucking keyboard, all the fucking everything. Bro. That's hard. I got like four thousand dollars of studio equipment, like just in my crib. Really? Got a microphone, bro. I started making this shit, and I was like, "The same me," <laughs> like because really I wanted to control it? the beat part yeah. of it, right? And he would do it, and then I would try, and it would just sounded awful. And I just, like, did not like it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, man, I don't like it. And, you know, my wife was even like, well, you wasted so much money, yada, yada. I'm yeah. like, I wouldn't call it a waste because yeah, I, I would have gone my whole life being like, like what I could have done, done it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you I'm like, never no. Know. Yeah, at, yeah. Least, at least now you know. Yeah. And I, it's just, that's all it is. It's about falling in love with the process. So if you don't yeah. let a if you don't let a process, don't yeah. do it. It felt like you know? a chore, you know. What exactly. I'm then yeah. like freestyling, like dropping some bars with my little brother or something, yeah, like yeah. fucking around, like that's, that's fun. fun. Yeah. But I like sitting down and once it becomes hitting serious, the key yeah, and like uh, tuning shit. I'm like, that ain't me. It's a it's a it's yeah. a long process, especially like producing, making yeah. music, yeah. like beats and stuff. That's a long process. Yeah. 
Yeah, do do you make beats or you I have, export that? I have, but I I'd rather go through some producers yeah. because yeah, because yeah, the fun. same thing. Yeah, you know, I like to make the music. You know, I'm not. I'm trying to learn every aspect of it because that's just how you perfect yeah. your craft. But yeah. you know, it's not me, like you said. I'm I'm the artist. You know. Yeah, bro. Um, after you after you were on the show, and obviously, you know, as we talked about, kind of opened up some other doors and stuff for yeah. you. Um. Congrats on the deal with Puma, by the way, brother. Appreciate sick. you, man. Right, they just sent you a bunch of Puma gear. Now it's like Puma only, bro. Man, Puma only. I don't yeah, rock yeah. nothing else, <laughs> man. That's the team, man. You yeah. know they. You know I show love to people who show love to me. So yeah. um, they've showed mad love just um, consistently um, yeah. since we've started uh, partnering. So. That's awesome. You know, I'm a I'm a rocket hard. Why why yeah, would, bro, why would I? That's fresh, exactly, dog. Exactly. I'm like it's I'm like, like <laughs> maybe I need some Pumas, bro. It's like why I'm would take these off real quick? <laughs> I'm put them back here. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm saying. I would just put the Nikes back here, bro. Puma gang, right? Puma gang. I'll yeah, tell send, you, send your boy that sweatshirt. I need it. All right, oh, Puma. You. If y'all listening, bro, right, we gonna get you right. <laughs> nah, for real though. It's like I tell me that all the time. Like if someone's rocking with you that tell, why would you go and? Do that. Yeah. I don't understand that. Yeah, that, that, that that way of thinking, man. They they've been down since I talked to him, since I met him, been consistent. So yeah. I'm gonna consistently, you know, sport your shit and push you. Why yeah. not? You know? I, I sometimes think that um, you know, a lot of people feel like uh you know, there's like give and take in relationships in general, right? Yeah, and I sure. think sometimes people feel like um let's say for example, you got a homie that's doing well in this right yeah. and you're like always out of shit and you're supporting them i'm sure you got people like that right um and some would be like oh like he barely fucks with you while you dick riding him whatever the fuck right like you probably got these like friends yeah. but it's also like you know i show up for them they show up for me i show up for them right and we're all kind of like growing together, together yeah you know? um and but, i hate that word dick riding yeah number one i, I <laughs> yeah. hate that word yeah me too I, like bro. that's such a cop out bro yeah. like and it, i feel like it's like I, it comes from like hate culture you know like why why hate on why anything? is it why is it why is it bad why are you bashing me for showing love that's i've never understood yeah. that concept like if i show somebody love like oh you're dick riding yeah, how my dick, bro? Like yeah. that's such a weird concept yeah. to me. Like, yeah. bro, I shall let it. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna fuck with you tough. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Why? Why would I? Uh, you know, lukewarm. I'm all in. I don't yeah. straddle the fence, man. If I <laughs> yeah, fuck with you, bro. it's gonna be known. Yeah, absolutely. How uh, how big is the circle nowadays? I mean, how many people are you actually like seeing on a day to day? Because I'm gonna keep it with, real with you. I see my wife, and that's it. I go to the gym. Yeah, come back. Yeah. I work from home. So yeah. I just, I'm at home all day. Thanks. Then my wife comes home. And then sometimes, like, I'll see Brian like, once a week. I'll see some boys that I, like, you know, wrestle with yeah. or train with, you know. Um, that sounds peaceful. But, uh, yeah. It kind of, it, you know, for me, since I'm, I, I was, like, a very social person. And yeah, I always yeah. needed to be around people. And then at one point, I was like, this actually, like, holds me back, right? And not that I, like, cut people off. But life just starts going in a different direction. And I think with, like, the goals that you have, right, and all the things you want to accomplish, like, that's a lonely road. Yeah, you know? for sure. Most of the time you're probably just. And a lot of people don't understand. On your own. Yeah, you know? a lot of people don't understand that. I have, you know, obviously um, some people that I'm really close with that I yeah. talk to, you know, weekly for sure. But some people just don't understand that, you know. Yeah. And it's been, even with women coming up and stuff like that, it's like it's been such a hard thing to find someone who understands what I'm trying to achieve. But it's yeah. like, I'm doing this, you don't like it, then. See ya. Because <laughs> it says, you know, that I'm not going to sacrifice the dream over yeah. anybody, you know. Yeah. I, I got to make it happen. It's all I yeah. want, you feel me? So, yeah. but it's definitely a lonely road. and. You know, you'll hear it all the time. You're fake. You're this. Yeah. You're that. Like, oh, you changed. But it's yeah. like, I'm just doing what I have to do. Yeah. I don't care how you, anybody feels yeah. about me. Well, honestly, and when your vision is so big, bro, and you're actually taking the steps to get to that vision. Yeah. Um, it's not like you are just life looks different. Very. You know, I had a homie tell me that one of his friends said, like, I got to start cutting people off. And anybody who starts to cut people off is a dumbass. <laughs> like, 
you're just an idiot. You're thinking about it the yeah. wrong way. The goal is never to cut people off. At all. It's just like people get cut off as your life changes. People, yeah, people slowly fall yeah. off. But yeah. like you said, life, life just, it's just, you know, you have childhood friends, you have friends in high school, and and then even grown men, that's when you really like, okay, lock in and see who's yeah. still there. But throughout all the process of life, you know, it's not, no resentment or anger towards anybody at all. It's yeah. just like my life's moving a different way, and so is yours. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. A lot, a lot it's of part people, of it. It's right? part of life. A lot of people look at it, be mad or oh, like I said, oh that person changed, this person changed. I would never like. I have friends who get married and having kids. I have friends who are still doing shit that when we <laughs> yeah, were wow, younger. Shit. Yeah, that never changed. <laughs> yeah, you feel bro. me? So it's like shit moves though. I would never be mad at anybody um, yeah. for growing up. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. I know, um, obviously, like, with rap culture, there's always, like, it, it's somewhat tied to, like, you know, partying or, like, yeah, hood rat shit or, like, breaking laws, you know? Yeah. Did, did you ever feel like you were almost sucked into, like, that side of the world? I, I didn't let myself. Um, so, like, I don't, I actually don't drink or smoke. I never have. So, really? I um, I stay away. Ever? Ever. 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 Never ever. got turned out even a little bit? Not even a little Damn, bit. Not man. even on Netflix, just a little bit, though. <laughs> <laughs> just not even after Netflix? Nah, dead ass. The only thing I ever did, like, I told my bro, like, I didn't think I was finna graduate. Yeah. And then, like, um, I told him, like, middle of the semester, I said, if I graduate, somehow, I said, all right, I'll smoke with you. That's about it. Yeah. That's all I did, yeah. man. And you did smoke? <laughs> I just hit it once, and then yeah. they tried to give me, nah, I'm good. But, you know, yeah. it's, it's just never been me. Um, yeah. You know, I, I I do like going out and stuff. I always have fun. Um, but it's not my preference for sure yeah. um, when there's work to do, you know. But yeah. I definitely have fun. I don't don't act like I'm just a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, in the crib yeah. and stuff. Just like, like <laughs> some weird, crazy <laughs> Still in the closet, yeah. just recording music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, like I definitely be yeah. out for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I I never got like sucked into that way. You know, I mean, growing up, you know, we've done wild things for sure, but yeah. um, never because of no rap stuff. I I couldn't yeah. let, I I won't let nothing change my uh, my morals, man. That's that's I'm firm on that. You know, absolutely, bro. Um, you know, a lot of musicians, I think, uh you know, try to make their way to yeah. different cities, right? And I think now that Denver's growing, it's kind of like, this is a great place to be for yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. Um, do you feel that way? I mean, do you, do you ever see yourself, like, moving? Or have you ever wanted to move to, to somewhere else? Because I know in L.A., like, f for me at least, the people, yeah. it, it's just like everything's just quicker, right? You'll have an idea. It's like next day you're doing it. For sure. Everybody's down to make content. Everybody's like willing to. Everybody connects. Yeah. Did you ever feel like when you went to LA, like, yo, I'm gonna stay here? I've definitely contemplated it a lot. Um, I've contemplated LA and Atlanta making that move. Um, it's been tough because I, I still help my mom out with a lot of bills yeah. and stuff. So um, that's the only thing that's kind of held me back. And also, I just, I love the city, man. I do. Yeah. I really love it here. It's where I was born, man. I love yeah. it. My, people love to hate on it, but I love the city, man. I've only known, you know, I lived in Illinois for a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm Brazilian, so I moved here when I was eight years old oh, from that's Brazil. Crazy, yeah. But I've grown up in Colorado, and um, I've never lived anywhere else, right? Yeah. Uh, and that makes me always want to. And we had that, like, snowstorm, like, last <laughs> week, bro. And oh, man, that was I woke up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym. Yeah. Just snow. And I was like, okay, like, let me shovel this driveway. I'm sitting there like an hour, 40 minutes later. Still haven't finished the driveway, bro. Like, because this shit's just packed. And I just went inside. I'm like, babe, we're moving. I believe it. <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to lie. That same, <laughs> like, that, if you're getting cold, bro. That same snowstorm, bro. I left the studio like 10 at night that night. I was driving home in the middle of it, bro, and I was yeah. like, never again. This fucking sucks. <laughs> You're bro. like, I got to get out of here, bro. <laughs> but, but then um, summertime's chill, you know? Exactly. We, we got some good weather. But I think, you know, the, definitely the benefits of like a L.A. or in Atlanta or places like that, it's like you said, um, I think just people are ready to work out there. Um, yeah. A lot Especially of the, on the creative side. Like, yeah. they treat it as a real business. Where a lot mm. of people that are still, like, figuring out creative here. Yeah. It's more of, like, 
hobby. There's no structure, right? There's no agenda. There's not no, like tasks. Exactly. Right? That structure is a big word for sure. We don't have we don't. Colorado doesn't have an in- infrastructure at all for like music, and that's the the hard part for sure about stuff like that. And you well, know, why you not just, build it though, right? I feel like sure. you're on the forefront of it. Yeah, you know, along with a couple other rappers here. You mm-hmm. know, you guys are like. Leading the way, you know. Yeah, we got, bro, and that's why I tell people all the time, bro. There's, we do not lack talent at yeah, all, at all. Yeah. We do not lack talent here. It's just we lack a, we lack vision, um, and work ethic for sure. Yeah. Um, and then also just oppor- we lack opportunities too. Just yeah. being, just being here, like you said in L.A., um, someone could hit me and be like, I need, well, let's do something tomorrow. If I get that all the time, people out yeah. of town hit me like, oh, let's work or this and that. It's like, okay, but I got to catch a flight. I got to uh, schedule this and that. And then it's like, oh, well, I'm on a time crunch, you know. Yeah. So the opportunities get less and less. Or, like, yeah. someone wants to meet with me, a record label or whatever. Oh, let's meet tomorrow. Oh, well, I'm in Colorado, so give me a few days. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Are you are you signed to a record label or are you still? I'm independent right yeah. now. Uh huh. I've, I've took meetings before. I've, I've been in a lot of meetings, but I'm just waiting for something that feel right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. until then, I'm going to just keep building myself up. I'm not opposed to signing. I know a lot of people are, but I'm yeah. not opposed at all. I think it's, it could definitely be mutually beneficial for sure. A lot of people don't look at it like that. Um, but a lot of people also don't look at it as a business. When I, I see a lot of artists all the time bash labels like the labels that changed your life, too. Right. Because they're taking money. But it's like at the end of the day. They invested in you. They right. put all the money up. They took the chance. Yeah, they connected you with the people. They put you in all the rooms they that don't you needed de- to be. They in. don't deserve some money. Yeah. You feel me? I you know it's like, a partnership. Exactly. Right? It's and there are labels that do yeah. fuck artists over, and that's fucked up. But yeah. I think there are times where it could be mutually beneficial. I'm just waiting for that opportunity. Yeah, bro. I know you mentioned Atlanta. I've never been there, but they definitely have like a sound. You're loving, man. Yeah. You're loving. Yeah, I heard it's crazy. Great food. Yeah. I'm a big foodie, man. So great food. What you mean, bro? What's your what's your like favorite go to meal if you gotta grab it in like thirty minutes? Grab it in thirty minutes. Yeah, like a quick something quick. Popeyes. Popeyes. (laughs) Damn, bro. Popeyes is fire, though. Bro, I just eat chicken like a lot. Really. Bro, fried, fried is, grilled. Yeah, all of yeah, it. Yeah, all of it. I fuck with I really like just like soul food a lot. I like, I love Mexican food too. So those are yeah. like top two. Damn. But like you be eating like Chipotle and you like that? Qdoba. Or Qdoba, bro. Over dude. Chipotle. Damn, You're a Chipotle bro. guy. Of course, bro. Of no, course. bro. Why do you like Qdoba better? All right, look, look. I'm going to break it down yeah. to you. Number yeah. one, their balls are tiny as hell. <laughs> That's true. Qdoba's That's balls true. is bigger. <laughs> Number yeah. two, they be trying to skimp crazy. <laughs> they do, bro. They be half school, <laughs> half school, like <laughs> like it's coming from their paycheck, bro. bro. <laughs> that shit is not hurting your pockets. Yes, bro. Put some more chicken on my shit on God. Yeah. And then on top of that, they be trying to charge like four dollars for some guacamole. Like yeah, what? Bro. Qdoba is free. That's true. It's That's free. True, bro. You ever had like Costa Vida? No. No, is it you need fire? To go, you, yeah, I've you can it. get it smothered, bro. Ooh. That sounds fun. That's different. I need that. I was about to bring you a burrito and see if you were really a rapper, bro. I was about to bring you like just all the, you know. Oh, nice. <laughs> you got to wrap the burrito, I'm bro. Keep it but I suck at <laughs> wrapping burritos, bro. I suck bad. Like my shits be so messy, sloppy. Like what? Yeah, bro. Um, yeah, I was gonna bring that and maybe like a little box. You know, you wrap that too. It's like a little so present, just, you know what I'm saying? Put me to work. Well, I don't know, bro. I gotta get some <laughs> shit done. I figured, bro. I was like, hey, this guy's the best rapper in the game, right? I figured that's, he might as well, that's might as well rap a couple that. things. I for can't me. rap a present either. <laughs> I'm real bad at that. You're, you're really in one rap lane only. I'm in one rap lane only. I'm not. <laughs> a, I'm not in others. I use t- a hundred pieces of tape to wrap a present. Oh, bro, God. I wrapped a present. Uh, for my buddy Archie Colgan, he he actually fights Bellator, uh-huh. uh, undefeated fighter. He's like on the come up. Um, wrapped a present for his kid because it was Christmas, uh, giving it to him late. Yeah. And bro, I spent like an hour yesterday, and this shit has like a hundred pieces of tape. I promise, and I said dude. fuck it and just wrapped a ribbon around it, like covered all the pieces. Oh yeah. god. Yeah, hey, bro. that's why I go. I stick to the gift bags, man. Yeah, you know straight me? up. Yeah. How was uh, Christmas for you? 
I mean, time? it was yeah, it was good. You know, um, it was like a lot. I was moving around because um, I was a uh, went to my girls like her her moms and her pops, and then oh, I went to damn. my moms and then my brothers. So we was damn. moving around a lot. Yeah, for real. all like, in one day or all in one day, man. Dang, Literally. bro. But I was so fucking full. Oh my yeah. god, we had yeah. breakfast at my mom's, then my girl's mom's, then her pops. And then my brothers for dinner, and we ate at every single location. Yeah, bro, you like, just gotta make dog. an appearance, bro. I just gotta make an it was appearance. It's a superstar show. You gotta get used to it. <laughs> you gotta time crunch. Hey, man, you know? If they provided meals, I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Um, I know it's the new year. I think it's January 5th today, right? Yeah. Um, a lot of people are like big into new year resolutions. Are you the kind of guy like, I'm gonna write down. My goals for the new year or how do you break down like your new year or does it even matter to you? Um, so I, I, I'm more of a short goal guy. I mean, obviously I have yeah. long term goals, yeah. but as far as I like, writing them down, because I feel like sometimes you write a long term goal down and gets lost in translation. Yeah, um, absolutely. You do a short term goal like, oh, I do all this today or tomorrow. Yeah. It's easier to accomplish and knock it off. You feel me? And then yeah. just build like that, you know, brick yeah. by brick. Um, I've never been a, a person just to, like, write down my resolutions, but I definitely have things I, I see for this year. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What 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 are a couple of those things that? Uh, just little marks, you know, definitely hitting. Um, like, uh, I'm trying to get to 100,000 monthly listeners on Spotify is a big goal of mine. I was at, like, 40-something nice. earlier this year. Yeah. So I'm like, that's a, that's achievable for sure. Yeah. Uh, definitely about to grow to about 100k on the gram and grow my TikTok to like 50 right now. It's yeah. like my my those are like achievable. Yeah, you goals, popping yeah. on TikTok right now or what, bro? Oh nah, man, I, yeah. I, I'm 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 late to the party, man. Bro, so. I made, and I think I'm late too. I made my first like TikTok yeah. video, got like 4.5 million views. Are you serious? Yeah, bro. And I went from zero to 20,000 followers. Like I had like what was 20. it? Here I'll show it what to you. What was your video? It was fucking uh it was fucking crazy, bro. That's why I was like Teach yo, me TikTok. Teach me. I, I can't replicate it though, fight. bro. I, we haven't what? been able to replicate it. Ask Brian. We've been trying. But it's so hit or miss, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. Because I have a video do a hundred thousand views and then the next one was like two thousand. Like, yeah. bro, make it make sense, bro. Well, bro, I was I had that four point five million yeah. and now they're all like couple hundred i'll get some with a couple thousand yeah here i'll throw it to you oh when you when you gym partner doesn't let you cheat yeah. reps on leg day yeah yeah i could see this blowing up when you gym partner yeah. doesn't let Why? you cheat yeah. reps that was your first post yeah well it was my first one that i like actually was like yo let me make a tiktok yeah everything else was just like me just like fucking around trying to figure out how to use shit you yeah. know and that was the first one where i was like seriously i'm gonna make a tiktok that's good content yeah. though yeah that's so i'm trying to yeah just figure that app yeah. out right now because that's the biggest app out easily yeah. right now so i'm at like ten thousand, but i'm trying to keep growing because yeah. it's you could grow fast on there absolutely bro and that that's what we were saying earlier right it's kind of the power of technology exactly today. um one thing that uh you know, you were mentioning building it brick by brick. Yeah. So, you know, a big habit of mine, bro. So I wake up every day early, right? Go to the gym, meditate. Um, I always like listen to an audio book on the way to the gym. Yeah. And then on the way home, silence. I like can feel nothing. that in your, in so your just, demeanor. I, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. So like little rituals, right? But yeah. the first thing I do when I get home is I like journal mm-hmm. and not like how my day went, but it's just really a like, daily checklist okay so i'll be like what do i need to get done today so i'm good. like i make little boxes like next to it and i just write it out and there's like 30 things on this yeah, yeah. and i just like start checking them off right um not because it's like leads to success or anything it's the only way i get shit done or else i forget but what i started noticing is every time you do that yeah it's a perfect break you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. because even if you don't check it off now you're guilty. Like, you feel guilty. Yeah, so then tomorrow you do the same thing. Self-accountable. You know, you know self-accountability. Yeah. Accountability is a thing a lot of people lack. And yeah. I've, I've, even myself, you know. Yeah. 
you got to check yourself. Because if you don't check yourself, who's going to check you? Yeah, man? I mean, you man. got your wife and stuff, but yeah, you know, yeah. who's going to check you, man? Yeah, well, and, and even, you know, when, when you have certain talents, right, yeah. you could probably get away with not – being accountable or sure. like having discipline, but in the long run, that shit it's gonna pounds. show. It's yeah. gonna show, I, and that's that's the thing with the the brick by brick saying. I mean, like a lot of people, you know, if you if you don't build, man, it's easy to get knocked down. Yeah. You know, uh, you're not solid. Um, yeah. So, like you said, it'll it'll end up showing. It'll end up being a chink in your armor for sure if you don't have that. I think a lot of people who are very talented just coast by on talent. Yeah, and in in sports and everything, yeah. and it, it it'll show eventually. Yeah. You, know? you you could get away with it depending how big the talent is yeah. for a while, for a while. Right? But then you start getting into these next levels, and, and then especially that's where the work shows, man. Yeah. Like I said, even sports, rapping, everything. There's a million people play sports, a million rappers, man. Yeah, the hardest worker gonna win. Yeah, and bro, I always uh you know have these like little conversations with myself, not like little conversations, but like. I'll try to, like, roast myself if I'm not doing something, oh, right? Yeah. So I'll just, like, you know, it'd be like playing basketball. I miss a bucket. I'm like, damn, Bruno, don't want to be great. Like, yeah. you don't want to be great. I'm the same way. And I just, like, you, you know, talking to yourself like that, bro. Man, I do it. It changes your mindset. I do it hooping. Know? I do it working out. I do it in the in the <laughs> studio. If people see me record, bro, they be like, this guy's crazy, bro. If I don't do something right, I'm like, Jacob, you fucking suck, dog. You're <laughs> trash, dog. Like, bro, fuck. you got to start recording that in the middle of the I song. You know? <laughs> and just mash it up in the beginning bro, of a song, bro. I literally, my, enge- my engineer probably think I'm crazy. I remember uh, there's, you know, like those little uh, podium sits <laughs> where you like put, yeah. put music. It was right yeah. by the mic. I had my notebook there. I was just fucking up, bro. I just punched the <laughs> fuck out of it. Boom. I'm like, yeah. I mean, hey, man. Yeah. That just means I care, yeah, man. Bro. No, you got to get it out somehow. You know what Exactly. I'm exactly, man. <laughs> yeah, but he thinks you're going crazy. He you're just in there I'm like nuts. going wild. That's why I be in there by myself because I'm like, yeah. If I brought people here, I'd probably think I'm crazy. Yeah, good thing studios are padded and shit, too, bro. That's <laughs> it. Your hands are all right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you ever, like, bring people to the studio, or is it always just you? For the about, most part? like, 80, 80 90% is yeah. just me. Just me. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I just take it serious, you know. Um, so I really treat this shit like a job, bro. Like, yeah. so when I get in there, it's straight work, bro. Yeah. Like, I, obviously, I enjoy it, but it's like, I'm I'm here to I'm get shit done. I'm not here to play around. Yeah. I've like heard I, of people, like, kind of, like, you know, like, Gucci Man or something, like, crazy-ass parties, bro. And this yeah. guy's just in there rapping. Like, exactly. I don't know. I don't know if I could ever, I could do anything like that, you know? That's the, that's just not me. That's why I, I, I go alone. I mean, like, a lot of people, I've been in other people's sessions. Like, people invite me. Half the time they're drinking, half the time smoking, or got some bitches or something. And it's like, I thought we was here to work. Yeah. You feel me? Maybe yeah. I, I was confused. But <laughs> we in the studio, right? I thought we was here to work, yeah. you know? If we was here at a party, don't tell me, like, hey, come record. Because, yeah, that's not what we're doing. So, I just I don't you, I don't play with that shit, you know. You know, it's it. And then it's like a waste of money if I go in there and play around. Yeah. You feel me? Absolutely. <laughs> um, if there were a couple of rappers, let's say three, or artists in general that you could collab with today, who would it be? Who would you want to get on a song with? Drake, number one. Of course. Yeah. It's always a banger, bro. Changed my life, yeah, too. Yeah, that would change your life. That's, a, yeah, that's really, <laughs> you get a Drake feature, bro, you're, you're good. You're good. You're, you're good. You're good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, um, let's see, two others. Just all talent. You know, I always want to do a, a Andre 3000. That's, like, my biggest inspiration. So really? I, would, I would love to, obviously, work with him. Yeah. And then let's think of a, a newer rapper. Uh or maybe not a newer rapper. It got to be Wayne because yeah. that's just my goat. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah, it's just my goat. That's awesome, bro. Um, you want to finish off with some bars real quick, bro? Yeah. We'll get you out of here. Hey, man. All right, one more. Again. One more. Shows getting packed in. I just got my back in. If you ain't got my back in, you was getting packed in. Money in the mattress, guns with attachments. You can't make it out the city. My city is straight jacket. Fucking man, he a bum. Hit a stomach, take a tum. Fuck a stomach, hit a lung. Baby hair, messy bun. Take my pain, make me numb. My life like a fourth and one. Never punt, scrape a cum. Drop her off, then hit the slums. Stop complaining, cause ain't shit fair. You don't know the struggle, bitch. I've been there. Can't find these hoes, my shit rare. Puma to the swimwear. Never 
that had no kicks and now they dropping off like Tim Pear. This gear make a bitch stare. Stop drinking lean for the skincare. More gas than a Sinclair. The Hellcat sound like Ric Flair. Ooh, good things take time. I've been acting fake fine. Bitches trying to FaceTime. Girl, I make money. I don't make time. Send a beat to Dateline. Brother stuck in state lines. I'm CJ back at Lake High. I should call this Tyron Luke. And I'm like AI. Shoot a shot. I make mine. I heard it through the grapevine. That you is a bitch. Hit your BM. Then be cool with your kid. I get to under your skin. I'm just talking my shit. If those was facts in your reps, then your ass would have slid. You can't trust them in your posse. I go hard. Not a hobby. Got a stallion in my bed. She got Got body yaddy yaddy. It's only fast food if the bitches acting snobby. Then fly hoes to Abu Dhabi. I feel like the Prince of Saudi. Now watch your bay dance. Head like she break dance. Call me your folk Diddy. How I make bands. I ain't wanna make friends. Way before Corona, I ain't shake hands. I'm in the block in a Montclair coat. You can bet your bottom dollars that you won't get poked. Yeah, the white boy rapping. Bet your ass got jokes. But if you heard the way I rap, I bet you don't want smoke. She don't want the static. Don't care about your status. Fuck Fucking foreign women, I can't understand their accent. Hitting college hoes, and I ain't never seen a campus. This is not me rapping, this paint on the canvas. Diamonds on me dancing, I've been turning down advances. For my circumstances, this what happened, taking chances. Long way from a transit, I won't stop camping. I won't stop rapping till I wake up in a mansion. I'm gone. Fuck. Yo, bro, that was crazy, dog. That game fuck with me. It's Big J. Bro, that was nuts. It's yo, yo, Jay. yo, where, where can where can the people follow you, bro? My name is Jacob Campbell. J-A-K-O-B. Jacob Campbell 7, all social medias. Go tap in, go stream. The music's crazy. I'm crazy. My bro Bruno's crazy. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Thanks for coming on the show. We'll see y'all next y'all. week. Peace.